Hi everybody. Well, I'm back from holidays and I'm dragging my butt today. I don't know why. I just, um, I had such a good time and got lots of relaxation in and maybe it's just coming back to the real world that isn't a whole lot of fun. But anyway, I'm here. I'm Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique for those that may be new to this. Um, so today we're going to do something fun, something a little different. Um, I basically unloaded all the tools on the table here. We're going to be using um, some wide leather and again, I can never see if anybody's there. <laughs> this looks so bad, doesn't it, when I do that, but I can't see any other way. I'm getting new glasses soon. I'm trying to decide if I want to go really funky or what I want to do or if I have to get something different so that I don't have to look up like that. I wonder if I tip that up. No. Okay, well, no, I still can't see. Anyway, I look better. I don't have much of a chin that way, so I'll do that. Anyway, so today we're going to um, make kind of a cool trendy necklace using this wide tel uh, 10 millimeter leather. Let's see if you can see that. And I'm going to show you how to emboss it, which is really kind of a cool thing. I was playing around with that yesterday and having a little bit of fun. We got home late last night, and of course I made my poor husband sit here while I quickly whipped together something, and um, so that's what we're going to do today. So. Anyway, um, I'll just let a few more people join us. See some people hopping on and hopping off. So um, we were over in Qualicum Beach at my mom's cabin and we went over to the Philbrook Festival and we did all kinds of things. So it was a really great week away. And my, our puppy Henley really, really enjoyed it. So <laughs> she loves the beach. She absolutely loves playing there and having some fun. So poor little thing's tuckered right out, but she's a good swimmer now. And she even made some friends and she had Kipper, her little buddy, the little boxer that she played with every day down on the beach. So it was lots of fun. Have I said the word fun 50 times yet now? <laughs> All right, so let's get to this and I can blather on about things as we're making them. So I don't really have a name for this, but uh, we're going to use some cool tiara cast parts. You have heard me uh, mention lots of times that um, I really like tiara cast products. They're made in the USA. They don't have any nickel or cadmium or lead in them. Um, oh, hey, Barb. Thanks for being here. You're my first today. Woohoo! Um, so I, and actually, I think this is Barb's favorite piece. She's probably bought more than anybody, right? Barb, how many do you think you've bought now? Like, I don't know. 20, 30, 40, 50, <laughs> something crazy like that. I made another necklace, just a simple one where we hung a Rivoli off the bottom and then hung it on um, uh, just, what's that stuff called? It's the, the ball chain, yes. So it was literally a Rivoli on the bottom off of a, uh, the ball chain and everybody loves that one. And Barb, every time she wears one, she gets a request to make one. So she, um, should probably have shares in this piece because she's bought a lot of them and we do appreciate it. So, um, yeah, 40. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, I think, I can't remember which one do you usually buy? Do you usually buy Breathe or? Um, yeah, she's had at least 40. Um, so it comes in Breathe, Love and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, is it Namaste is the other one? So they, and they come in three colors uh, or four colors four colors yeah I think in the the silver the copper um, the brass and um, gold so they're really really nice so they're only about an inch and a bit long inch and well uh, just under two inches and they've got a hole on each side so they're super versatile because you can bend it and you know make it into a bracelet or um, use it how we're going to use it today which is in the long part of a necklace um, you can do all kinds of things with this so we're going to use this uh, tear cast breathe part and then I'm also going to use these Tierra Cast, um, what are these called? They're little, um, <laughs> I'm going to call them an endable because I don't know <laughs> what they're called. But they go on the end of, um, they rivet onto the end of our leather that we're going to use. So um, that's what we're going to use today. I've got two of these. And so you can see they've got a little hole in there and we're going to show you how to rivet. So riveting is always kind of fun. And um, then we also have, <coughs> pardon me, I've had a, a cold for the last three days so I'm feeling a little funky. Um, we've got these nice um, Tierra cast bead caps and I'm going to show you something that I like to do with them, something a little different. And we're going to be using um, probably a plastic mallet and perhaps our little chasing hammer just because I'm going to actually um, Tierra cast has a little gizmo that you use that you can hammer down on the rivets to keep them domed but in this particular one I want my rivets kind of flattened 
There's a lot of people in the store right now, so it's really noisy out there. So hopefully you can um, not hear the noise too much. They're not noise, it's customers, but you know, it's, there's lots of people out there. Anyway, so we're going to use that. So we're going to use a bench block to um, do our rivets on. And we're going to be using this little hole punch to punch our holes. And then you can't really see it, but I have a... Um, a big kick over here. Um, it's made by Sizzix. And a lot of you have that are scrapbookers, because usually, you know, we've got a lot of people that like to do scrapbooking and also the um, jewelry making. So a lot of people have this from their past life of scrapbooking. Um, you can use it, the one that you have for scrapbooking is the same one that I'm using today. They just made them a little different. This one was um, manufactured by Vintage, which is a big jewelry company. And uh, so they look a little different, but they're exactly the same. And we're going to be using <clears throat> this little deco emboss um, plate by uh, Vintage. And the one that I've got today is called Moroccan tile and you can see there can you get a good look there it's a really beautiful pattern so I'm actually going to emboss that right into the leather which is kind of cool so we're going to be doing all that today so let's see so what's the first thing I'm going to do so you can see that the leather that I've got I guess this is about two inches of this um, leather so I'm going to leave one plane that's the one I'm going to use I think and then um, you can can you see on this one I took a pink one and you see that I actually embossed it I ran it through the Sizzix machine and then you know our fancy patina paint that I love so much I put a little bit of patina paint I don't really like the color over the pink but I was just experimenting to see what would happen so I brushed off a little bit of the paint with a wet um, cloth and then I let it dry overnight and then I took that buffer that I used the other day on the project and I buffed off the top of it so you can really see um, if you had some cool colors like these paints come in a nice metallic and a few other things so um, like it's all kinds of different colors so you could really play with it and have lots of fun so that is kind of a cool um, tip or trick or whatever but I'm just going to run it through the Sizzix machine so I have to figure out the camera angle on this so I'm not too sure let's just play and see what we get here and let's see I won't be able to see anybody oh you can see my water bottle let's see maybe that'll work all right so can we see okay yeah so I'm going to just take our little deco emboss here so they come in deco etch and deco emboss and the emboss leaves sort of a raised thing and the deco etch leaves kind of like a little groove inside it so I tend to use the deco emboss so you can see it's got the two plates so oh Barb what do you say love the embossing Gee, I bought that vintage machine from you. Yeah, do you use it? <laughs> or are you just a collector of fine things? All right, so I'm just going to place it on an angle here. Just going to put the leather inside there. So now, you can't put anything really too thick in, in this machine. And this is about as thick as I really want to go. So it's actually got a little thing here that um, says, um, lay this way down so you know which way to go. So I'm going to place it. So it's got this little plate on there, and I'm going to place that plate there and I'm going to do it the thin side down first and then you place this other little plate and then you crank it through so I'm gonna just, it takes a little bit of muscles there we go and that click is fine it's okay to have that little click let me get that out of the way now and then oh my gosh that is the coolest thing so can you, I don't know, can you see the, the, look at how they're embossed. Isn't that the coolest thing? I absolutely love how that turned out. Oh boy, this is going to get me uh, thinking about what I can do with that. So that's just an option of what you can do with, with your leather if you just want to, you know, add a little bit of something to this. So, but we're going to just go plain today. So let me get this over here. <clears throat> there can we see there okay so that is pretty cool um, you could put the metallic there's a metallic bronze and a gold and a copper and I think that over top of that would look really really neat so you can have fun with leather don't be afraid to paint it and um, really you know play around with it a little bit okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to rivet these little endables <laughs> Okay, if TerraCast is online, <laughs> they know I'm using this stuff today, I think. Uh, make sure um, they don't pay me to do this. I just love their stuff. So 
uh, make sure you tell me what these things are called. So I do like to, I didn't bring the right pen. Oh, wouldn't that just, you know that for sure, eh? that I didn't bring the right pen. So I like to measure it, but I'm going to see if I can poke this in instead. So I'm going to use the smallest hole on here and I'm going to line it up. And no, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to, hopefully it won't get, you know what? Hang on two seconds. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Put that down. Should I sing a song while I'm running away? It's a good thing I have everything right here. What I needed was a smaller, um, a smaller, what do you call that thing? Sharpie. All right, put me back here. Okay, there we go. Hopefully I didn't lose you there. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up, making sure it's right to the end, and then I'm going to stick my little piece in. So now I've got a little mark. At least that helps a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Why is it whenever I get on camera I want to sniffle too? Doesn't sound so good, does it? Excuse me. <laughs> sniffle, sniffle. Okay, so now I have two little dots there. So I'm going to use the smallest one in here. So when you're riveting, we're going to be using these little tiny tiara cast rivets. Um, you want to make sure that your the hole of the that you're going to punch is the same size as the rivet. So your rivet really needs to take up the whole the whole hole. <laughs> does that make sense? You don't want to have um, any. You don't want it to be loose. So now that's a little off on the side. So hopefully it's going to work. You know, it's supposed to should really measure twice but um, of course for live things it's not always easy so now they also come in different uh, lengths they come in a little bit longer length and a little bit shorter length I think it's actually three I grabbed these ones off of the shelf and we'll just hope that they that they kind of work and with these there's a male and a female end so there's or did I actually grab the completely wrong ones yeah I did oh heavens to Betsy well, I have to put you guys on hold again and run on into the store. So hopefully nobody stops me. <laughs> I'll be right back. I apologize. Good Lord. I'll be right back. Goodness gracious. You know, I guess when you come back from holidays, <laughs> Holly, um, <laughs> you want me to sing? <laughs> Lord, no. You really, you don't. You just don't want me to sing. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Did I even get the right parts? I think I did. Okay, this chubby old body is not used to running. Whew. Okay. There we go. Holy, I'm out of breath. That's crazy. Okay, so this has a male and a female end. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is like the, we'll call that the male, it's got the pokeyote part, and then the female part. So, we're going to put the female part on the top of this one here. Okay, you know what? This is not working at all today. I have the wrong size, and I can't run out there and grab these things because we seem to be out. <laughs> Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, I don't know why I have the wrong size. I wonder if I can use these guys. I don't think so. You know, I thought, oh, well, I'm so totally prepared for this, and it looks like I'm completely not prepared. Well, we'll see what we can do, okay? Because, you know, screwing up on live is always a good thing. That would help if it was the right way. Hey, Colleen. Do you have a second to help me? Oh, you know what? I think I can do it with this. I'll try. I think I might be able to get this to work, but I have the wrong size on this, and so we're playing. Um, what, what do you need to do? Well, I was. I have the wrong. You know these ones here, these um, the double 
Yeah. Sorry, the male and female. I need the, the longer side in silver. Oh. And I couldn't find them while I was quickly running out there. So I tried it with the other ones here and it's not working. But let me try again. And if anybody in TierraCast is watching this, I apologize because I'm killing your stuff today. <laughs> yeah, this isn't working. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. If we don't have the silver, then I'll take a different one. So they're the ones that have the male-female part. I just thought whatever we have in the silver. Colleen doesn't want to be on camera, so but I'm making her be on camera now today, <laughs> sort of, right? Let's see. Is that the male-female ones? Those are the only ones we have in silver. No. So can you just grab me another color? The kind, this, this kind here, like they've got the... See, they've got that. They're on the bottom. Oh, you know, I see. Those ones, yeah. I just grabbed the short ones, which end in... Yeah, I need the middle size one, but of course I grabbed the wrong size one. So, you know what? Um, while she's getting those, I'm just going to come back up here because I'm, I'm hoping I'm not going to lose anybody because this will be fun when it's done. Um, see, what can I tell you? Oh, we, I took my husband to where I used to... Um, yeah, I'm not hilarious, Barb. <laughs> I'm actually sweating. <laughs> And I don't usually sweat, well, I sweat because I'm old and heavy, but I don't sweat over this kind of stuff. But, you know, when you're trying to do something live, it's not uh, working out so great. I so, oh, Colleen found it. Yay, Colleen, thank you. You're Let's welcome. see. Oh, those are too big, but, so we need the middle size one. Oh. Let's see. That's the one, one, one. And then there's a, that's another one. Is that the right size? So. Um, 6011. No, that's a different size. We'll try this one. I think that's the same size as I have. You know what? I might ha I can't even figure out what's going on here today because these are not, they're not the right length. What is going it's on? Really short. Yeah, because these ones normally fit in there. Wackadoodle. Anyway, so you know what? I have a spare part here that I'm going to just quickly take apart and um, I will, I more or less told you how to do it. So, um, Colleen's going to keep looking, but I'm going to disassemble this one I've got here because I did one before. Um, at least I can show you the finished product because I don't know what's going on today. I have enough parts all over here to start another store. Okay, so you can see on this one, I took the female part and I put it in and then I put the male part through the back and then I just tap, tap, tap and it rivets. It actually kind of goes together. So I did that on both ends and so I ended up with this nice little piece here. And I apologize because, you know, that's what happens sometimes when you're doing live TV. Can you actually see the sweat up there? I can feel it trickling. <laughs> so we have that nice little piece there. So I'm going to forget about this part of it. You guys get the gist, right? Hopefully, hopefully you get the idea. Um, it's not hard at all. You just have to get the right size and I will get that figured out and maybe I'll put a little post up later. Okay, so let's go back down here again. There we go. Did you find something different, Colleen? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know. This is you put every single one we have out there. Yeah. So. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I I pulled off the one that I had from before, and I think we'll just go with that. But thank oh. you for your assistance, ma'am. I okay. appreciate it. Okay. So now the one thing that I do like to do is I'm so I'm going to create a little my my necklace now because we went through all that craziness and and have that part. So I'm going to use these bead caps and I'm going to put it on top of this bead, but I don't like the way that that looks like that on top there because it kind of floats around too, right? So I'm going to take it and put it on the bench block and with my plastic mallet, I'm going to just tap. I don't want to hit it hard and I don't want to use uh, um, my chasing hammer because it'll actually mar the metal. So you see how it just took it into a flat, almost like a little bead? So it's going to end up just being a little accent. So that's kind of a nice little, it's not really a trick, but a little little thing that you can do. And I have some uh, 22 gauge wire and I'm just going to attach it to the top of this with, I'm gonna sort of just put this together. So I'm gonna be um, making a wrap loop, so push away. And then I'm gonna change to my round nose pliers and up and over and down and make my nice little loop. Now I'm going to attach my loop to my little thing that I just made, right? <laughs> and I'm going to give it a wrap here. 
So now that I'm making this, everybody's going to want to come in and buy those parts because that's what happens. And so I have to make sure that we actually have the right size parts. So I will make sure that the right parts are in within the next week or two because whenever I do these videos, we have a run on whatever I make, which is awesome. Um, but if we don't have them, that's not very good, right? So, okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to now put on one of my little flattened bead caps and my little, isn't that gorgeous bead? I love that one. And hopefully I'm doing this all on camera because I'm slightly crazed right now, right? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do another loop. And then I'm gonna attach this directly to the breathe little tag. So you getting the gist so far? I should have eaten lunch. Holy mackerel, my for hungry. And you have to make sure you come in on it backwards because otherwise it's not the right way. So you see how we, we want to have them all lining up. Okay. And now I'm going to wrap that little loop. And you could make a little loop and attach it with a jump ring, but I don't like to I love jump rings. They they're my favorite part of making jewelry because you can you know, fix all kinds of things, but I don't like to add them unnecessarily because I just find it adds too much bulk. So, all right, what else am I going to do here? Oh yeah, I've got to tuck that little tail in. Okay, so now we've got, this is going to be the top part of the necklace. I think I've got that on a pretty big angle, so hopefully you can see that. There we go. So this is the top part of the necklace. This is going to be the middle part, and then we've got our little tag down here. So now I'm just going to hang off a piece of chain and then I'm going to add some little dangles on it. So I'm going to, you know what, I probably need another, probably a different size jump ring. Oh goodness. Maybe I drank too much rum when I was away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a possibility. Yeah, that one's going to be too small. So I'll use the big one that I have, and then I'll have to go find another one. The weather was um, absolutely gorgeous for us over there, which is kind of nice. All right, so remember to open and close a jump ring. I'm just going to grab hold of each side, and I'm going to pull one one way and one the other. And I'm going to pop that inside there. Now I'm going to hang my chain a little off center. I'm not going to really make a, I'm not going to measure it or anything. I'm just going to sort of hang it and see if I kind of like that and that looks good you can always the nice thing about using this jump ring is that you can always um, you know change that out a little bit if you want okay so this is what we've got happening so far we've got our leather and our breathe and then a little bit of chain on the bottom there okay so now I'm going to add some beads so I've got a nice big smoky quartz and I've got these really nice head pins that have the little ball on the bottom. I li quite like using those. So I'm going to just do a little wrap loop and whoops clunk. And so just the same kind of wrap loop. Oh, my hands are all sticky because I was sweating probably because I was running through my store. My body's probably going to <laughs> wonder what I was doing to it. <laughs> oh goodness. All right so there's one. And then I'm going to add another one here. So as I was saying before, I took my husband to the little town that my grandparents lived in, which is called Honeymoon Bay. It's outside of Lake Cowichan, which is outside of Duncan, close to Yubo. And he'd never been in that neck of the woods. And um, it's really, it was a, a, both um, Honeymoon Bay and the neighboring town, Masachi Lake, were um, mill towns. And... Uh, they no longer are running mills and it's very weird to go in there. there. There's kind of not much going on in that whole whole area now, but um, it was still lovely to go out that way and take him down to where my grandparents live. And you know, it's funny when you remember back when you were a kid and everything seemed so large and so grand and the place my grandparents lived was in a mill house. And um, it's uh, very disheveled looking now and just not so grand looking. So. It was kind of funny. Anyway, so I like to just kind of, before I do anything up, I don't know if you can see that. It would help if, you know, I'm holding it up here. You guys can't see that at all. Holy mackerel. Get with the program today, Cal. Um, so I've just kind of hung them off there. 
and I think they look okay where they are. I might move this little, the little blue one up a bit and try that. All right. Maybe I'll try that one. Yeah, I kind of like that. So now I'm going to wrap my little loops up. So did everybody have a good long weekend? We, um, again, we were still away, so it was kind of nice. And it was crazy on the ferries. Thankfully, we um, had reservations. So it was pretty easy going. But there was huge lineups, um, we heard. And it was pretty busy when we got there yesterday. We got to the ferry around like where the sign is that tells you if it's full or not. We got there over two hours early and it said the three o'clock was full. So I was really glad that we had our reservations and with having a puppy and everything, I really don't want to be sitting on the hot tarmac for too long. And you know, she's so good now, holy. She just sat inside the truck. We don't even go upstairs except to maybe, you know, hit the loo or something. But um, she just she just sat there and it's, was a little embarrassing though when we took her out and for a little walk around the ferry down in the car deck and she decided that she really had to go pee <laughs> right there on the car deck <laughs> oh goodness gracious <laughs> my grandmother she's up in heaven and she's killing herself laughing because I'm pretty sure she used to tell BC fairies to you know pee off a lot of, lots of times because she hated traveling on them so she's probably happy that my dog did it <laughs> So that was for you, Nanny. Henley peepeed on the ferry just for you. All right, so we're getting there. Let's see, I'm gonna tip this back up so you can, oh, which way am I going here? There we go. It's a little hard to do when it's down. Okay, so we've got our piece of leather. We've got our little bead with our flattened bead cap, our breathe, and then our chain. So you can see this is gonna be a long necklace. It's not meant to be worn short or anything like that, right? So. All right, so now I'm just going to go off camera one more time because you guys really like listening to me run. And, oh, I almost, <laughs> I almost did it with my microphone on. That would have been really funny. But I just have to go into the next uh, bag here, which is not so far away, and grab a, a large jump ring. I knew I needed to leave those out for a reason. Okay, hook myself up one more time. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I grabbed a small chain for, oh yeah, you guys need to see what I'm doing again, right? Okay. I grabbed a small sort of um, cable chain for down here, and then I grabbed a similar chain for up top, but it's a little bit larger because I wanted something that had a bit more substance to it. So I'm going to find the halfway point on it so I just kind of hold the ends, find my halfway point, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And for the sake of not boring you to tears, I'm not going to be perfect on this. Okay, so I'm just going to add my jump ring, add that on the end, and I'm going to do that up. So again, with jump rings, you're just going to, to close them, you're going to go back towards your middle, and I kind of like to jiggle it a little bit and get it in there nice and tight. Okay, now for me, because I'm right-handed, I always want to put the working part of everything on the right hand. So on this one, I'm using a toggle. So I'm going to put a little uh, jump ring on the end of this toggle. And I'm just gonna, I already had that jump ring open, so I'm gonna just close it up again, kind of jiggle, jiggle. And then I know I have one more here in this pile of stuff. Okay, where'd they all go? Oh man, okay, there they are. I have a lot of bags of stuff here. So I'll find, find the right um, the right size on that little rivet thing. And I'll, I'll post it up there later. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture of this in its entirety and show it to you with the right sizes and everything. All right, so there we go. So you can just kind of Pull that up there. Okay, I'm gonna push you back up here so you can see me and I'm gonna sort of stand up so you can see backwards here. I don't know if I can get this on my head, over my head because of my my arm, but I'll try. 
Oh, almost. Boy, my arm's getting a little bit better. Okay. And of course, all you can see now is this silly thing, right? But there we go. We can see. How's that? Can you see that? So it's kind of a cute, fun, long necklace. You can embellish it as much as you want. You can make this chain a lot longer or make this part of the chain a whole lot longer. But really it's just to show you how you can add some components. I just used a small piece of our flat 10 millimeter leather. It comes in a bunch of different colors and we used it in another project the other day. Thanks Barb, glad you like it. Um, we used it in a project the other day. So I'm probably gonna order some new colors because we've already sold out of some. So, but I think this would look really cool with that embossed leather in there. So if I ever find the right size rivets, I might make up another one. But um, there you go. That's the project for today. So sorry for all the kerfuffle with the rivets, but you know, that's what happens when you're on live. I guess this isn't really TV, but you know, doing a live show, you never know what's gonna happen and you kind of have to roll with the punches. And uh, so it's a good thing I had a one pre-made because that did help out a little bit. So um, next week, I'm gonna try something really cool. So I have to practice this week and see if I can perfect this fine art that I've just kind of I don't know, thrown together in my brain and see what I can do. I'm having lots of fun with these videos and um, trying some different things like the embossing. I'd never done that before and last night I just thought, I wonder how that would work. So it is kind of fun to show you some things that I've never done myself and you know, we're going to have some screw ups along the way like I did today, but I think that's all part of learning and trying not to be too perfect. So with that, I will say goodbye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Barb just said that it ma I, that uh, my top matches my blushing face. Why, yes, it does. <laughs> it's kind of a peach color. I guess I'm naturally peachy colored, but <laughs> when I'm getting stressed out, I really uh, turn red. But anyway, um, so I will be back next Wednesday at 1230, my usual time, because I think that might be it. My husband keeps telling me that we're going away again, but I think that might be it for, for now anyway. Maybe in September we might go back over to the cabin before uh, the weather changes. But um, so uh, thank you for those that showed up and I really appreciate everybody's love. I'm getting lots of great comments. Um, if you have any suggestions, make sure that you let me know what you'd like to see. And thank you again for showing up. And we will see you next Wednesday at 1230. Take care.